Step number one is you'll want to get the Canva app on your iPhone or Android device, or you can go to canva.com and be able to make your thumbnail from your PC. I'll leave a link to Canva in the description. Just go ahead and create a free account. Next, I actually want to give you something to help you create your first thumbnail. I actually went ahead and created a free thumbnail templates pack that you can add to your Canva account completely free. It's going to come with a whole bunch of templates and backgrounds that you can start using right away. And this is going to really help simplify the process and help you get a really great thumbnail for your first few videos. And I actually want to show you how easy this is to customize. So all you have to do is click on me on screen with your finger and then click the delete button to get me off screen. And now all you have to do is just add yourself in, which you'll need to remove the background from your photo. And a great free way to do that is the Adobe background remover. All you have to do is go to your web browser and search search Adobe background remover and click the link. They'll also force you to create a, a free account. But once you do, you can just click upload your own photo, add your own photo in. And then in just a few seconds, it's going to have the background completely removed from your photo. Awesome. All I got to do is click download. Then back inside of Canva, all you have to do is go to this upload section down below here and then click upload files. And we can either choose photo library or the file section, depending where it sent that file to. Since I'm on iPhone, it sent it to my files, which I can see it's right there. So I can just click on that and click open. And there it is in my files. I can easily click on this, add myself in and increase the size, just using my fingers to increase the size of the image. We're going to put it right over here. Perfect. If I want to adjust the background, I can just click on it. And then at the bottom here, I can click adjust. I'm going to scroll over to the hue section, which is color edit. And then we can easily adjust the hue here. Maybe I'll do purple since I'm wearing a blue shirt. I can change it to whatever color I want. There we go. Like now that's looking. And then I can just click on the text here and double tap to edit the text. So maybe I'm making an investing video. I can do investing for beginners. And that's it. I have a very professional, clean looking thumbnail and I can click the export button in the top right corner to save this to my files and also make sure the file type is JPEG, not MP4. Make sure you're actually exporting out a photo and then using YouTube Studio, the app or just on your computer, you can add your thumbnail to your video. Now, before you get creating your thumbnail, you're going to want to learn some of the common mistakes beginners make with thumbnail design. And I actually put together this video here for you to watch. So go over here, watch this first before you you go and make your thumbnail.